Hello everyone, as you all know from the salt wave, the face of Fate Grand Order will never be the same. That is, until Scotty enters the picture. Disclaimer, while I will explain some skills and stats of Merlin, I will not go in depth as this is not a Merlin Servant Spotlight. I'm sure many have tackled this topic in their channel. I'll make a quick breakdown of what makes up a Merlin. His first skill is a charm and adds MP to your party. His second skill is a party-wide invo with an added star gen and crit down to your enemies. His third skill is a buster up with an added padding of 3k max HP. Has a passive unique to himself, MP gain per turn higher than that of the Avengers. And finally, an MP that generates stars, HP, MP gain, for your whole party for 5 turns. Merlin is a combination of the best aspects of the following servants and more. The sum is greater than its parts and this is so true for Merlin. You could say, but friends, I don't need Merlin. I have tons of DPS servants and just shove them into my party. Well, kudos to you to go Merlinless. While that is true, let me put you in a different perspective. Why waste? A number of mats while you can dump everything to one servant at a fraction of the cost. It's hard to deny that Merlin brought a lot to the table. He can turn your buster servants into pseudo jolters, saves your team from a boss NP, and so on. While you can still succeed in the game without Merlin, he does make everything convenient. As to why Merlin should not be nerfed, well, let's start a short intro about nerfs. The goal to nerf is to make the game more fun to play and enjoyable to watch. While fun may be a subjective matter, you can agree that Merlin makes you feel safe playing the game. Being safe is not all that exciting to watch now, does it? I submit Honako Green as evidence, your honor. Compound that this is just a single player RPG gacha waifu collector simulator. Nerfing any servant will have no effect with other players, but will greatly affect the master. Who has dumped thousands upon thousands of quarts for just a chance of getting Merlin? Now, how can Delight Work solve this? Well, one is by having a diverse servant design with different roles and being damn good at it. We will see this as NA catches up to JP's story and their ever-growing servant pool. Another solution is by applying nerf creatively and indirectly. Delightworks already did this by implementing the multi HP gauge system. This eliminates the one turn kill strategy of Merlin Buster teams, which opens the doors to sustaining team and NP spamming teams, which Quick and Arts Comp are competent at. Merlin may have heals and invo, but a piercing invo NP can wipe your party clean. The Lewis may exploit this weakness, as little as it may be. These are just a few creative solutions as to how to control Merlin's absurdity. Before I end this video, let me ask you. Will nerfing Merlin have a big impact on the game? Will it remove the fun? Will it make the game more exciting? Can the players make creative strategy? Or let them express themselves in new ways? More often than not, the answer is simply not to have Merlin in your party. This is Shreds. Thank you for watching and see you again in another FGO video.